सो इन टूडेज डिस्कशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज फीडबैक लीनियराइजेशन फीडबैक लीनियराइजेशन इज अ वेरी पावरफुल टेक्निक टू डिज़ाइन कंट्रोलर्स फॉर ना लीनियर सिस्टम्स बेसिकली द आइडिया इज यू नो दैट द थ्यूरी फॉर लीनियर कंट्रोल सिस्टम्स इज वेल डिवेलप्ड एंड दे आर सिस्टमेटिक अप्रोचेज विच कैन बी यूटिलाइज टू डिज़ाइन कंट्रोलर्स for linear systems so if we can somehow obtain linear representation of a non linear systems then our task will become much more easier and uh, we shall be able to design controllers for non linear systems using well developed systematic approach approaches for linear systems so you know that uh, one technique that you have already studied Uh, to obtain uh, linearization of uh, nonlinear systems is jacobian linearization however you know that this jacobian linearization is only valid near the equilibrium point why because uh, there are uh, some approximations uh, which are involved uh, we have studied uh, this uh, jacobian linearization in some earlier lectures that is this nonlinear function uh, can be approximated by a linear function uh, at some operating point uh, and if we are working near the operating point the near this point then uh, this linear approximation is uh, fairly a good representation of actual non linear function however if the operating range becomes larger or if li non linearity is uh, uh, quite complex then uh, this uh, becomes less applicable because these higher order terms uh, cannot be ignored in that case so in in this uh, lecture and in uh, next uh, few lectures we shall talk about this feedback linearization technique this is also called exact linearization why exact because there is no approximation involved in this uh, linearization technique this uh, this gives only another representation of the same nonlinear system uh, without making any approximations so it is basically it gives it uh, it gives you another representation of the system uh, in uh, new states uh, variables and uh, since no approximations are involved therefore uh, this is another exact representation of the nonlinear system to uh, elaborate the concept Uh, we start with very simple example that will motivate us to this topic the example is our familiar example of the pendulum system uh, this pendulum system uh, is described by these uh, state equations uh, now we also have uh, an input in this equation uh, input is some external uh, torque applied uh, uh, to this uh, pendulum and uh, what we can see is that uh, if we take uh, this control input u is equal to a over c sin x1 plus uh, 1 over c multiplied by another uh, variable newly defined variable v if we take uh, this control input and substitute it into this uh, nonlinear system we get these state equations uh, which is a linear system uh, with new input v right so what we have done is we have selected the control input such that the nonlinearities are cancelled out and we get the same system uh, which is uh, represented over here and it is a linear system with new control input v and uh, this system represented in uh, this uh, state space a standard state space form is given over here and once you have this linear system for this linear system you can very easily design this control uh, input for example the simplest one that you have already studied is state feedback control uh, given by this uh, expression v is equal to a, a matrix uh, minus k multiplied by state variables x uh, since we have two state variables so this is uh, written in expanded form over here and now the this system with the, this control input is uh, given by this uh, expression 
how to find uh, these k1 and k1 and k2 yes for example using uh, the standard pole placement techniques you uh, specify the desired location of closed loop poles and uh, use uh, the standard techniques for example Ackersman formula and you can also utilize uh, MATLAB commands uh, place and occur to find this matrix K and uh, once we have uh, found V the overall control law uh, basically this U is actual control this was uh, some uh, newly defined uh, uh, control variable so we have found V and uh, the overall control law uh, will be given by this uh, relation so that is uh, you had a nonlinear system uh, you defined some control law which converted this uh, nonlinear system into a linear representation and for linear system you can easily utilize the well-developed control techniques to design this control input once this V is designed this overall control law uh, is uh, finally given over here where k1 and k2 are some uh, constants which can be easily determined uh, by for example using the Ackerman formula so this is uh, uh, you see that uh, there is no approximation involved in all this uh, process so this system is basically an exact representation of this nonlinear system now the question is is it always possible to obtain feedback linearization of a nonlinear system so the answer is if the system is represented by this particular structure then yes you can find uh, the feedback linearization by taking this control law u is equal to alpha alpha of x plus beta of x multiplied by v where beta of x uh, is uh, equal to gamma inverse of x so you see that if you substitute this u over here this uh, this alpha will be cancelled with this alpha this beta which is uh, in gamma of uh, inverse which is gamma inverse will be cancelled with this gamma and you will have a linear representation of this nonlinear system so if the system is in this particular form you can define this control law which will convert this nonlinear system into this linear representation and uh, here furthermore uh, the requirement is that this pair a and b is controllable if this pair is controllable only then you will be able to uh, define this controller v uh, for this particular system and uh, you can utilize any standard control technique for linear systems for example state feedback control law is given over here and uh, uh, the closed loop system this closed loop system with v equal to minus kx uh, is given over here uh, and uh, you select k such that this matrix is Hurwitz that is this matrix has all eigenvalues in the left half s plane and for that purpose you utilize uh, the standard control techniques and uh, the overall control law uh, is obtained by substituting this V over here and that is given by this relation for example if we compare this general theory with uh, the example that we have just studied we can see that this system uh, this system is in this particular form we can write it in matrix form so that it is more easier to see uh, x dot is equal to this matrix A multiplied by x plus uh, this matrix B multiplied by some uh, function of x uh, th that is uh, gamma of x and u minus alpha of x here this is gamma of x and this is alpha of x and uh, u uh, is selected by this, uh, uh, this relation and is given by uh, this expression so this question is it always possible to obtain feedback linearization yes if the system is in this form we can uh, obtain a feedback linearization uh, of that nonlinear system but what if the system is not in this particular form can we still obtain feedback linearization for that particular system so uh, to demonstrate it uh, we again take another example 
uh, you see that this system is not in this particular form however we can define a state transformation which will bring this system into this particular form so let's uh, uh, take this state transformation uh, z1 uh, is defined to be equal to this state variable x1 and z2 is defined to be equal to a sine of x2 we have defined this state transformation and uh, now this system in new state variables can be obtained by taking derivatives of these equations z1 dot is equal to x1 dot uh, from here and x1 dot is equal to a sine x2 a sine x2 which is by definition equal to z2 and z2 dot uh, is obtained by taking the derivative of this thing uh, it is uh, a uh, the derivative of sine is cosine of uh, x2 derivative with respect to x2 and then the derivative of x2 with respect to time is x2 dot and x2 dot is substituted uh, from this equation over here so the same system in new state variables is given by this representation you see that uh, now the system is in this particular format and we can again utilize uh, the systematic approach to define the control law uh, that is uh, here you see that uh, you uh, what should be alpha this this is the alpha of x and this is gamma of x and uh, then uh, you can uh, take this control law as we discussed earlier and uh, this is u is equal to x1 square alpha of x is this one and uh, beta of x is 1 over gamma which is uh, over here into v and uh, then the system uh, in new state variables with this control input is given over here which is a linear system uh, given by uh, this uh, standard state space representation right uh, and once you have uh, this uh, linear uh, form of that system you can easily uh, find this control input v by for example using the state feedback control law once v is known uh, then uh, uh, the, the control law overall control law uh, can be obtained by substituting this v over here over over here so you already know how to find these k1 and k2 that you already know so the answer to this question uh, is the system is the system always feedback linearizable, linearizable yes if it is in this form if not in this form so we can define a state transformation to bring the system in the desired form so we still have some question uh, does there always exist such a transformation in in the previous example we were able to find some transformation which brought the system into this particular form but does there always exist such a transformation this is one question and if such a transformation exists then how to find that particular transformation basically these are two questions uh, which we shall address in uh, next few lectures there is another associated problem which is uh, called input output linearization uh, so what is input output linearization we also briefly talk about it and then we shall uh, talk about uh, both of these linearizations in much more details in next lectures just to give idea about uh, uh, input output linearization uh, we again talk about full state linearization if the system is uh, given by uh, this these state equations then you define this control law to get uh, this uh, this uh, uh, state space representation and this kind of linearization is called full state linearization all the state equations are linear equations compared to it uh, there is another situation which is called input output linearization just to elaborate it we again take uh, the same example which we discussed earlier but now with output equation as well uh, we, we, we discussed this system in earlier slides and uh, we had defined the this state transformation and uh, the system in new state variables 
was given by these state equations and uh, uh, we defined this control law uh, on the previous slides that resulted into this uh, state's uh, equations. So, all these state equations are linearized and this is called full state linearization. But what about output equation? Output equation in new state variables is given by this equation y was equal to x2 and you see that uh, x2 is basically equal to sine inverse of z2 over a. So, although we have achieved full state linearization, but input output relation is not a linear relation. So, if you are uh, solving the uh, tracking problem, you are well familiar with two important control problems, the stabilization problem and the tracking problem. With stabilization problem, you want all the state equations, all, all the state variables to converge to the equilibrium point. In the tracking problem, you want the output to track some reference signal. So, if you want to solve the tracking problem, uh, here will be difficulty because the input output relation is not a linear relation. So, although we have achieved full state linearization, but input output relation is not a linear relation. What we can do is, uh, uh, for example, if we take this control law uh, for uh, this system, for this system, if we take this control input, then the same system, this system uh, is given by this expression. Uh, first equation is the same as it is and then uh, this, uh, this uh, x1 square is cancelled out with this x1 square and we have this equation. So, what you see is that the input output relation in this particular case is a linear relationship. So, this kind of linearization is called input output linearization. Although there are non-linearities in the state equations, but input and output uh, relation is a linear relation and this uh, linearization is called uh, input output linearization. Uh, and uh, this uh, input output linearization is useful when you are going to solve the tracking problem. However, there are some uh, difficulties uh, which we shall address in much more details in uh, the next lectures. What you see is that this x1 is unobservable from y and uh, what is its consequence? Uh, uh, although if you are going to solve the tracking problem, uh, you have to ensure that this state variable which has no effect on the output equation, uh, this is well behaved, this is not unbounded, you have to ensure it that this is not unbounded. So, we shall call it stability of internal dynamics, these dynamics are called internal dynamics because this x1 has no influence on this y. So, this x1, uh, this is called internal dynamics and uh, in addition to solving the tracking problem, we, uh, we shall be required to uh, ensure the stability of internal dynamics and we shall discuss it in much more details uh, in uh, next uh, lectures. So, this was a brief introduction to feedback linearization and uh, uh, in the next lectures, uh, we shall study a systematic approach uh, that will uh, help us to obtain feedback linearization, uh, exact linearization of nonlinear systems. We shall talk about both uh, full state linearization, we shall also talk about input output linearization. And uh, before we start uh, addressing uh, those uh, linearization techniques, uh, in the next lecture we shall study uh, some mathematical preliminaries which are required for our uh, future discussions.